now we start with the next topic of the chapter 3 data structure is nothing but the abl trees <music> Before start with the ABL tree, it is very important to understand what is binary tree as well as what is binary search trees. What are the rules that are important to balance a particular tree or the binary search tree is the ideal form of binary tree why we say the binary tree binary search tree is the ideal form of binary search tree then how we are searching for a particular element in a binary search tree how we are using different traversal methods all these things are the base to understand the avl trees the avl tree is much complex or we can say that difficult if we doesn't have the strong base of binary search tree or we can say that a tree chapter so before going to understand this video based on avl tree please refer the videos of binary search tree okay so here i am considered that you all understand the concept of binary search tree and i move forward and start with what is avl trees now avl stands for adelson Veliski and linda tree these avl trees are found by the three most famous intelligent scientist they are giving or they are introducing a different pattern to understand the concept of tree and they gives us the knowledge regarding how to convert the imbalance tree into the balance tree so these avl trees are the special kind of binary search trees so in the first statement itself we understand that how it is very important to gain the knowledge of binary search tree because avl tree is a special kind of binary search trees in avl trees height of the left subtree and height of the right subtree of every node of every node differs by at most one differs by differs by at most one avl trees are also called as self balancing binary search tree now the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree differs by at most one i will explain this is the not, this is the only concept of the avl tree as we go on understanding the avl tree you can understand what is the meaning of at most one avl trees are also called as self balancing binary search trees this tree is an avl tree now why we can say that this particular tree is an avl tree because first it is a binary search tree now next is the difference between height of the left subtree and right subtree of every node is at most one so there are two figures in front of you first represents that it is not a avl tree and second figure which represents that it is an avl tree now how we can say like this so for this for this just observe the first figure 
now here the root element is 12 and to this root elements different levels of nodes are inserted now here there are four levels level 1 8 and 18 level 2 5 9 17 level 3 4 level 4 2 no, four levels are available if i want to write by is which i will try this is level 1 this is level 2 this is level 3 and this is level 4 okay so these are the levels again i am using a pointer so if i am considering that 4 height of the left subtree 4 minus height of the right subtree 2 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 and we said in this slide itself that height of the left subtree and height of the right subtree should be at most 1 and we get the answer of 2. So it is imbalanced tree. Now we will take the next example of a wheel tree. Now here 8, 18, level 1, 5, 11, 17, level 2. Now 2 minus 2. Now it is 0. So it is a AVL tree. It is a balanced tree. It is a balanced tree. Okay. So at uh, at first level you should understand only what is imbalance, what is imbalancing of a tree and what is balancing of a tree. Now um, as we have lots of data with us, the figure of AVL tree and non-AVL tree is at the previous slide. So as I've explained already to you, the, the written uh, notes regarding that is available on this slide. See, so once again, see here, this tree is not an AVL tree because the difference between height of left, left subtree and right subtree of root node is equal to 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. This difference is greater than 1. This, this difference is greater than 1. And if we consider what is the balance factor for a wheel tree, if we consider what is the balance factor for a wheel tree, so balance factor is defined for every node balance factor is defined for every node balance factor of a node is nothing but balance factor of a node is nothing but height of its left subtree minus height of its right subtree height of a left subtree height of a left subtree minus height of a right subtree so this is the important point of this a wheel tree height of a left subtree minus height of a right subtree is the balance factor for the ABL tree. So, in an ABL tree, balance factor of every node is either 0, 1, minus 1. So, this is very important part because of that, I am using a different pen. To again visualize this concept that balance factor of every node is either is either 0 1 or minus 1 so up to the end whenever we are calculating the uh, balance factor the balance factor should be between 0 1 or minus 1 and if it is not in between these three values then it is not a balance tree and if it is not a balance factor of a tree then imbalance tree should be balanced by using different techniques which are there in the avl tree so your tree should be balanced this is the aim for understanding for complete understanding of avl tree okay so your balance factor should be in between 0 1 or minus 1 so it is now our responsibility that convert the, that convert the imbalance tree into the balance tree for that we are using the different techniques that already available 
only at this position we have to understand that how to apply this technique so that we can convert the imbalance tree into the balance tree okay now see here there are different avl tree operations are available there are different avl tree operations are available okay so as we understand the concept we can apply this technique on the different problems that are associated with the avl tree okay so first of all we are in a position to understand what is avl tree like bst operation commonly performed operation on avl tree are search operation insertion operation deletion operation search operation insertion operation and deletion operation so these are the three common techniques that we are used for the binary search tree we are using for searching techniques that is the common techniques that we are using over here also after performing any operation on avl tree the balance factor of each node is checked okay so we are always checking the balance factor after performing any operation now there are following two cases which are possible the case one is after the operation the balance factor of each node is either 0 or 1 or minus 1 after the operation the balance factor is of each node is either 0 1 or minus 1 so in this case the avl tree is considered to be balanced the operation is concluded now in a case 2 as in the previous slide we discussed case 1 which is showing the balance factor now in a case 2 after the operation the balance factor of at least one node is not a 0 or 1 or minus 1 in this case ABL tree is considered to be imbalanced why because the balance factor of at least one node is not 0 minus 1 0 1 or minus 1 so here just consider k is not in this category case to is this so in that case the rotation are then performed to balance the tree because the tree is not balanced so we are pro providing the rotations so that the tree should be balanced okay because our aim to make imbalance tree into the balance tree this is nothing but the avl tree avl tree is very very simple to understand but before make simple before make it simple you have to understand the tree traversal technique as well as what is binary search tree also avl tree rotations now focus on what are the different avl tree rotation now this is the subtopic from the main topic of avl tree of chapter 3 now avl tree rotations hmm. now for the avl tree rotations there is a tree diagram in front of you so that tree diagram denoted that there are two types of broadly categorize two types of rotations first is the single rotation and second is the double rotation so again there are two types of rotation single rotation that is left rotation it is called as ll rotation left rotation is called as ll rotation then right rotation is called as rr rotation this is the part of single rotation now double rotation that is left right rotation that is lr rotation and left right left rotation that is rl rotation so left right rotation and right left rotation that is lr rotation and rl rotation are from the category of double rotation now here we are providing the double rotation now in which now in which manner we are providing the double rotation that we want to see okay so in this case in this case of single rotation there are two types of rotation that is left rotation and right rotation okay 
so now we now we try to make it now we try to make imbalance tree into the balance tree by using both the types of rotations that is single rotation as well as double rotation now in front of you we are writing four conditions and here we are explaining the first condition the first rotation technique that is used to make imbalance tree into the balance tree now how it happens that i will explain now see here there are four types of rotations left rotation ll rotation then right rotation rr rotation third is the left right rotation and fourth one is the right left rotation now cases of imbalance and their balancing using rotation now the next sub point we start with this that is cases of imbalance and their balancing using rotation so for that the case one we are considering over here so this is the case one now in this case one see here now this is your node becomes imbalance after inserting node 3 now how it will happen now consider that uh, initially consider that third node is not present over here suppose this is cross huh? so i am using a pointer wait so there are only two nodes okay so now the left subtree is empty right so the left subtree is empty so there is zero over here so zero minus one because it is at a level one no so zero minus one is minus one so balance tree factor is between zero one minus one so answer is minus one condition is true the tree is balanced but after after inserting this three after inserting three at the right at the right side of the a second node that is two node hmm. we are at the position level three right so at this level at this level there is no left subtree right subtree so it is zero but for this two, there is no any left subtree that is zero, but there is a right subtree of one. So zero minus one is one, right? And here consider, there is no left subtree, but there are two right subtrees are available. So zero minus two is minus two. So the answer for this is minus two, right? So, minus 2 is not in the balancing factor, right? So, that's why it is called as this is the imbalance tree. See, tree is imbalance. Now, we are applying the LL rotation that is rotate it anticlockwise. So, to rotate it anticlockwise, we have to consider the nearest ancestor of the root of the node where imbalance of a tree starts so suppose now consider this tree this is at level three right but it is not having any left subtree right subtree so it is zero now here consider that now uh, here consider there is no factor there is no node as the left side so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so here is also minus 1 there is no imbalance bit. now here is at the root node 1 there is an imbalance of a tree so for that imbalance man to make it balance we have to select the nearest ancestor or we can say the uh, for this two we are considering the nearest node which is having the imbalancement in the tree so for this the node one is there which is having the high uh, which is the imbalance factor or imbalance node so for that purpose we make this node as the root node for this two node or we, we can say that this two node which we are considering that should be a parent of this two node that should be a parent of this two node as it is 
द नियरेस्ट नोड ऑफ द इम्बैलेंस फैक्टर ऑफ द इम्बैलेंस नोड सो फॉर दैट पर्पज वी मेक इट एज अ पेरेंट नोड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द रूल दैट वॉट एवर द रूट नोड वी आर इंसर्टिंग एट द लेफ्ट साइड देर इज अ नोड विच इज हैविंग लेस नंबर एंड ऑन द राइट साइड वी आर इंसर्टिंग द नोड विच इज हैविंग द ग्रेटर वैल्यू दैन द रूट नोड सो बाय अप्लाइंग सच टेक्निक बाय अप्लाइंग सच टेक्निक दिस नोड दिस ट्री इज बैलेंस्ड नाउ इन दिस केस that is in a case too we are performing right rotation so in this case also as we are considering that node 1 is not there initially okay and there is only two node that is node 3 and node 2 so node 3 the left part of the node 3 is 2 and the right part is 0 so here 1 minus 0 is 1 so it is perfectly balanced after inserting 1 the balance factor is somewhat uh, the balance factor is not adjust with the three values of minus 1 1 and 0 so to make it balance what we are doing that the imbalance factor here is 3 okay so we make it 3 as over x and the nearest node which is having the balance factor is y that is 2 okay so make this 2 make this 2 as a parent of this two child okay so this is the predefined that you have to make it in such a way that the tree is balanced so 1 and 3 are the two childs of this node 2 so one should be at the left and three should be at the right so by considering such a technique your tree is balanced by using right rotation also now the next is case 3 case 3 of left right rotation case 3 of left right rotation now this node becomes imbalanced after inserting 2 now before inserting 2 this node is not imbalanced now how again i am explaining 1 3 now here there is no node so it is zero now at the left one node so 1 minus 0 is 1 now what we are inserting another node so there are two levels now so 2 minus 0 is 2 so here the imbalance factor of this node is 2 right so we make it 3 as a a the nearest neighbor as a b and two as a c okay so as we are using a double rotation technique we as we are using the double rotation technique we make c as a parent for this two child we make a c as a parent for this two child because as we are going for the double rotation hmm, we have to make we have to make the node which is nearest to the balance factor okay so nearest of this b is c okay which is balanced so for that we are considering c as a parent for this two so two is the parent one is the child three is the right child now if we compare the balance factor here node 1 minus 1 is equal to sorry node 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 but 0 okay so
is equal to zero. Okay, so in this manner we can balance the balance tree by using this case three. Now next case is sorry. Now next case is the case four, which is the last case from the topic avial tree. Is the right left rotation. Now in the case of right left rotation, right rotation plus left rotation. Is equal to right left rotation. Now in this case also, the node becomes imbalanced after inserting node two. Okay, so at this stage, I think you understand why the node two is imbalanced. So here also, this is imbalance. So this is an imbalance factor. So here um, we can consider it as a node C. This is node B, and this is node A, which is highly imbalanced. B is balanced, and C is completely balanced. So we are considering the neighbor of B over here, that is C. Make a parent of the child node A and node B, and make it as a balanced. So this is all about the right left rotations of a binary tree. Now, so how we are inserting the data? What is the insertion order? That is one, three, two, and after. Balancing it, the insertion order will be changed, and we are following the rule from binary search tree. Okay, the height of the left sub tree is less than the height of right sub tree. So one minus one is equal to zero. So now your tree is completely balanced over here. So this is all about the avial tree. Thank you. Now we continue with the topic that is search trees from the unit from the chapter tree. Hello, friends. Today we start with the topic that is B tree. A B tree is a self-balancing tree of order M. Now, order M means the order of a tree that we give while we are taking the example. Suppose the order is five, so M is equal to five. Can have maximum of M minus one keys. So, if the order of tree is five in case of binary tree, then it has M minus one. M minus one means four keys, and M pointers, <coughs> that is five pointers to its subtrees. A B tree may contain large number of key values. Now, what is key value? Key value means a node itself contains some value. So now, what is key? So key is nothing but B tree having more than or the large number of key values. <coughs> So in that case, suppose consider a node consisting of value two. So two is nothing but the key of that node. And in case of B tree, 
you not only add one key to the tree but you can add more than one keys more than one keys like two three four to the node while creating a b tree so it is having large number of key values and pointers to subtree as well as the pointers to subtrees storing large number of keys in a single nodes in single node keeps height of the tree relatively small <clears throat> so height of the tree ultimately it is relatively small as it contains more number of keys so as we go on understanding example you understand what is the structure of b tree a b tree is designed to store sorted data so the data is already sorted data is already sorted allows search allows search insertion and deletion operation to be performed in a logarithmic amortized time so it is very important that we have a sorted data and then we are searching the data inside a b tree insert the data inside the b tree and performing various operation within time inside a b tree so b tree is a self balanced tree of order m having m minus 1 keys and having more than one key values with the pointers and b tree is designated to have a sorted data inside the tree in addition to all this important concept of a b tree it is having some additional properties which helps to insert a data inside a b tree create a b tree delete the contents from b tree every node in a b tree has at most maximum m children at most m children means if a node or if the b tree is of size 5 so it is having at most 5 children every node in a b tree except root node and leaf node has at least minimum of m by 2 children so as we are accepting a root node and the leaf node in between what are which nodes are there internal node so internal node having the children m by 2 m by 2 means if your tree is having order 5 suppose is of order 5 so 5 by 2 it is 2.5 so we take a ceiling value that is upper value of 2.5 is 3 so the b tree of order 5 having at least 3 node to the internal nodes of a b tree this condition helps to keep the tree bushy so that the path from the root node to the leaf node is very short even in a tree that stores a lot of data the tree is short having more than one keys having m by 2 internal nodes in the b tree the root node has at least two children the root node has at least two children if it is not a leaf node if it is not a leaf node then it is having at least two children all leaf nodes are at same level 
so this is also important all the leaf node are at same level it is not necessary that every node has the same number of children but the only restriction is that node should have at least m by 2 children so it is not compulsory that at the leaf node it should have exactly the same children but it is having m by 2 children m is the order of b3 divided by 2 whatever the number is the count of an internal node m by 2 children count of internal node except root node and leaf node so for this to understand this example and to understand what is b3 let us look at the figure 11.4 which is a one kind of a b tree of order 4 so here m is equal to 4 so on the internal node is having the children m by 2 means at least 2 children and except root node and leaf node all insertion on the leaf node are at same level all the insertion is at leaf node and it is having more than one key so it is having two keys here two keys to the nodes so these are all important factors that we have to consider when we are draw a b tree now how to insert any new node inside a b tree so in a b tree all insertion done at leaf, leaf level so i already explained you that all the insertion is done at leaf level a new value is inserted in the b tree using algorithm given below so to insert a new element inside a b tree we have to focus on the order of tree that is the value of m so that we can calculate the number of keys associated with that and based on that we find out that whether any place is available to insert a new node inside a b tree so for that the first step is search the b tree to find the leaf node where the new key value should be inserted so first we have to find out the leaf node because from the leaf node itself insertion is done now second step if the leaf node is not full that is it contains less than m minus 1 key values that i already explained that we have to focus on m minus 1 key values then insert then insert new element new element in the node keeping the nodes elements ordered because we are insert the data in an ordered manner so if the leaf node is full that is the leaf node already contains m minus 1 key values then insert a new value in order into existing set of keys Split the node at the median into two nodes. Split the node at its median into two nodes. Note that split nodes are half full and push the median element up into its parent node. If the parent nodes is already full, then split the parent node by following the same step. So what we are doing that if leaf node is full, if it is not full then we are inserting inside the leaf node itself. But if it is a full, 
if it follows m minus 1 keys and it is having m minus 1 key inside a b tree then we split the node at its median into two nodes so then we get the space to insert a new node still it is not having the space and still it follows the m minus 1 key values then again we are splitting that the splitted node into two now see here now look at the figure of a b tree of order 5 given below and insert 8 9 39 and 4 into it so this is one kind of a b tree of order 5 so here m is equal to 5 now here just consider that m is equal to 5 now the number of keys should be m minus 1 so here key is equal to 4 key is equal to 4 and now as we are inserting new element inside a b tree so we have to insert total four elements that is 8 9 39 and 4 and as we studied that insertion should be placed at leaf node so we have to check whether leaf node follows the rule of m minus 1 so here the value of m minus 1 is 4 so if the leaf node contains four values so here if the leaf node contains four values then again we have to split that node into two part so just observe here in step number one we are inserting first element that is eight so eight should be inserted according to the pattern which is we are following now at the left side of the tree in this node which consists of 7 and 11 it is a proper place to insert a new element 8 so that it follows the rule that we are inserting the minimum value at right left hand side and maximum value at the right hand side of any tree any binary tree so here here it is not following the rule of m minus 1 key as the b tree is of order 5 and if the leaf node contain total 4 values then and then only we can split the node but here only the b tree or the leaf node of a b tree contains only 2 value means there is a chance of inserting another 2 values so in the step 1 as we want to insert 8 we can insert 8 over here like this so now there is a chance to insert one more element inside the b tree for that to insert 9 inside a b tree the space is available over in the same leaf node so we can systematically insert 9 in this node so in the next step in a next slide we can insert 9 also inside given b tree now look at the b tree of order 5 given below we have to insert 8 9 39 into the node in which 39 should be inserted is already full and it contains 4 value yes so if we want to insert 39 over here so it is already full because it follows the rule of m minus 1 so here the four nodes are already available inside the leaf node so what is the next step that we are split the node into two nodes so we are doing the same thing over here that we are splitting this node into two node that is now here we are trying to split the nodes into two form and separate the node so but before splitting arrange the key values 
in order including the new value so the order set the order set of the values is given as 21 27 36 39 and 42 the median value is 36 so push 36 into its parent node so we are pushing 36 into its parent node and split the leaf node into its parent node and again we are splitting the leaf node now in the previous uh, slide uh, we successfully insert 8 and 9 inside a bee tree. Now it is a chance to insert a 39. Now to insert a 39, it be complicated term inside a leaf node of a bee tree because we are split the given node so that we can adjust 39 inside a bee tree. So a proper place to insert 39 is this that is 21 27 36 and 42 but here the problem is that so this is the proper place to insert a 39 that is in between 21 27 36 and 42 but here the tree is already full as g value is equal to 4 and it is satisfied inside that leaf node so what we what we are doing that we are split this node into two part so that we create a place to insert 39 into that so because of this steps we have to take one node to be shift to its parent because in a parent one space is available so that we can insert a new value inside the parent node and still parent node is not satisfying the condition of key is equal to 4. Here in the next step 3 we are inserting 39 and for that we are split this node that is 21, 27, 36, 42 into two part that is 21, 27, 39 that is new inserted element and 42 and we are shifted the previous element that is 36 into its parent node. Now parent node is not satisfy the condition of m minus 1 that because of that it there is no any type of adjustment after inserting 39. So this will end. Now the fourth element that we want to insert inside a b tree is 4. Now to insert a 4, we are again the ideal node to insert a 4 is nothing but this that is 7, 8, 9 and 11. Now again ideally this node is also full and its parent node is also full. So what, what we have to do? We are split this node into two nodes as well as we split the parent node also into, into two nodes so that we can successfully add the new element that is 4 the new element that is 4 inside the b tree so how we are doing this now the node is 4 should be inserted is already full as it contains 4 key values here we split the nodes to form two separate nodes so here we split the node to form a two separate nodes. But before splitting, we arrange the key values in order. The order set of value is given as 4, 7, 8, 9, 11. 4, 7, 8, 9, 11. The median value is 8. So we push this 8 into its parent node and split the leaf node so as you observe the previous slide we push this 8 we push this 8 into its parent node into its parent node and we are first of all we are arranging all the elements that is 4 7 8 9 11 so 8 is the median part so this we are shifted to its parent node and again split the leaf node 
but again we see that parents node is already full because it already contains the four values that is 18 18 that is 18 36 45 and 72 this node so this is again full so what we have to do again we have split the node into 8 18 45 45 72 so we split the parent node using the same procedure so what we are doing here we are splitting that 8 36 45 and 32 18 so 36 45 and 72 so so 45 and 72 place at the right hand side 18 is placed over here with 8 and again we are shifting 36 as its parent node so in this way we can shifting the node to its parent if the condition is true of m minus 1 then again we split the node into two part and again the same procedure is continuous to insert a new element inside the b tree now the next sub topic from the main topic search trees of chapter tree is b plus trees a b plus trees is a variant of b tree please remember it is a variant of b tree which stores sorted data it stores sorted data in a way that allows for efficient insertion retrieval and removal of records each of which is identified by a key so every element in a node identified by a key b plus tree b plus tree stores all the records at leaf level of the tree only keys are stored in the interior nodes I am again repeating the important point that B plus tree stores all the records at the leaf level of the tree. Only keys are stored. Only keys are stored. Only keys are stored in an interior nodes. With the B plus tree. The secondary storage that is magnetic disk is used to store leaf nodes of a tree and internal nodes of a tree are stored in a main memory. So internal nodes are also important factor of a B plus tree. Internal nodes are stored in main memory and keys are stored in the interior nodes insertion is done at leaf level as a b tree and b plus tree is also a generalization of binary search tree so we are inserting the element which are lesser than the root node at the left hand side greater than the root node at the right hand side so these are the two part we are created while inserting deleting the data from from the b plus tree and b tree b plus trees stores the data only in the leaf nodes all the other nodes that is internal nodes are called index nodes or i nodes stores index values so the steps that are used to insert a new node inside a b tree so there are three basic steps that used to insert a new node inside a B plus tree. Insert a new node as the leaf node. Steps two, if the leaf node overflows, split the node and copy middle element to the next index node. If the index node overflows, split that node and move the middle element to the next index page. So, we are doing a proper splitting of a node 
to the left hand side and to the right hand side by considering the aspects of binary search tree as you go on practicing all the b trees b plus trees you can clearly differentiate between b tree b plus tree and as well as as you practicing you can directly draw you can insert immediately any data inside a b tree as well as in a b plus tree because only we are splitting the node and only you just know the technique that how to split and where to set the new node or how to split and where to delete the given node that is only the thing that we have to do so here we are considering one example with the help of this you can understand what is the b tree in detail how to insert a data in a b tree so we are following the same rule of if the order of tree is 4 we have to insert only m minus 1 keys so here also we are taken a figure which is consisting of a tree b plus tree of order 4 so here m is equal to 4 so key is equal to 3 so here we are inserting possibly only 3 keys per node if you are inserting more than three keys, then you are applying the rule of split and add. Split and again add to the interior node. Split and again add to the index node. So here we are inserting only one element that is 33 inside a given B plus tree. So for that we are doing a first step as it is having 10, 20 and 30 in the root node. And we want to insert a new node that is 33. So in the step 1 we are inserting 33 here. In between 32, 30, 48 that is 32, 33, 34, 48. But it is not vary the key value that is it is not verify the key value that is the key value is 3. So it is kind of overflow condition over here. So what we are doing again we are split the leaf node. So in the step 2, we are splitting the leaf node as 32, 33, 34, 48. So it is not following the complete rule of binary search tree. And again we are splitting here the index node because we, as we are transferring index node to the upwards. So in the step 3, we are successfully inserting 33 so how we are inserting 33 we are shifted this 34 into the previous node that is 10 20 30 and 34 now it is not properly added so again we are splitting the node like here like this 10 we are shifting to the left hand side of the 20 so we are splitting this leaf node how we split we are shifting 10 to the left hand side of this node and and this node that is 369 to the left hand side to the 10th 10 node that is the node which is having the element 10 and 15 as it is 27 is shifted to the left hand side of the 30 and 34 this 30 this 32 and 33 are the middle values between 30 and 34 so we are inserting this 33 over here and the bigger values to the right hand side of the 34 that is 34 itself and 48. So in this systematic manner you can insert the 33 over here. So as in a syllabus they are not asking you in detailed description of a b plus tree only you can understand that what is b plus tree and how to insert the contents inside the b plus tree so i think that is also a sufficient data to insert to understand what is b plus tree that is nothing but a detailed introduction of a b plus tree so by generalizing the concept of b plus tree you can insert the element to the left hand side as well as to the right hand side if it not following the rules of b tree as well as the b plus tree you split the data and shifts the value 
split the data and split the value this is only a one key to understand all the search trees or we can say that to understand b tree as well as the b plus tree once you got this point you can easily solve any insertion and deletion technique regarding with the b tree as well as b plus tree now the next search tree is try now what is try so a try is an ordered tree data structure which introduced in 1960s by edward fredkin the try stores that are usually strings now up till now we are stores the numbers now his try stores the strings and it is a basically a k array position tree in contrast to binary search trees nodes in a tree do not stores the keys associated with them rather a node's positions in the tree represent the key associated with that node so this try data structure stores the strings inside the tree so it is not associated to store the key it is rather deal with the position in the tree represent the key associated with that node all the descendants of the node have a common prefix of the string associated with that node and a root is associated with the empty string the node root is associated with the empty strings and they are associated with the common prefixes of the node so this is the figure which explains you the tri data structure now see here now this is a dot this is a dot that we have to store so this dot can be stored in this manner so here d then d o then t and it forms a dot or if you consider am so a here am m here so it all combines towards am so i am i am r and r so in such a manner in such a manner we can store the tri data structure inside a tree inside a different search tree so it is stores a string so in this way we can understand all the search trees that is avl tree b tree b plus tree and try thank you